The students in room four designed and made toy vehicles in December 2016. We learned all about the forces and m m simple machines and science. First, we made a blueprint for our toy. We drew a picture of what we wanted to make and wrote the materials we would need. Then we showed Miss Lane and she asked us what kind of wheels and axles we would need. We collected materials from home and brought them to school. Some people shared materials so there was enough for everyone. Our teacher, Miss Lane, brought in lots of stuff for us to use too. Next, we started to build our vehicles. It was hard to build them. One problem we had was our axles were too long. We used a saw or some scissors to cut our axles to the correct length. Another problem we had was our wheels were too loose. We used tape to help tighten them or put knobs on the end. If the axle was not straight, then the vehicle would not roll straight. Some were too high or too low, so we had to move them. Some things didn't stick together very well. We used hot glue because it was stronger. Some materials like cardboard were hard to cut. We helped each other get the job done. It was harder than we thought, but it was a lot of fun. This is a really neat car that's ninja powered. What did you use to make it with? I used two wheels, two axles, one coffee cup, one box, tape, and glue. Cool. Next, we tested our cars. We made an incline plane to roll our cars down. We put a flat board on top of a block and then rolled the cars down. We wanted our vehicles to travel at least two meters. Some cars lost a wheel. Some cars went on a curved path. Some cars were too light and some cars did not go far enough. One way to solve the problem was to make a new axle that was straighter. If it still wouldn't go straight, then some people started their car turned instead of straight. If it was too light, we added more blocks to make them heavier and roll farther. Jay Singh added sushi passengers to his car. After each test, we made some changes until our cars was the best it could be. Staffy, how well did your car perform on the first test? It stopped when the whole thing passed the incline thing. And what modifications did you make for test number two? Uh, on the bottom because it was touching the side. Wonderful. Finally, we had a toy expo so we could show our vehicles to other classes. We had our cars on our desk and visitors came around and asked us questions about what we made. We wore name tags that said the name of our company and our car. People asked us the materials we used, how many wheels and axles we had, how long it took to make, how hard it was to make, how far did it go, what problems did you have, and what is the name of your car. It was fun to show what we made, but we were a little nervous. People asked us lots of good questions. And we knew how to answer them because we learned a lot about wheels and axles. Jay Singh, what materials did you use to make your car? I used an egg carton, some wheels, and axles, 
and this laser with the batteries and I used uh, some construction paper and these pom poms to make um, sushi, sushi passengers. Neat. How well does it roll? Mm, I haven't tested it yet. Well, I tested it um, three times and sometimes it passed and sometimes it doesn't. Paige, what materials did you use to make your car? Um, so I used a water bottle, and I used some popsicle sticks, and I used a wheel and axle, and some tape, and a propeller, and um, some construction paper, and some um, goose paper, and some little pom-poms, and yellow paper. It looks really nice. Did you have any challenges when you were making your car? Um, yes. Um, the challenge was, um, like, the holes, I poked them, like, too high and too low. But, um, um, somebody helped me, and, um, it was good to go. Wonderful. Jessica, what have you made? I made a truck. And tell me about your truck. My truck is made out of cardboard and three axles and six wheels. Wonderful. And how long did it take you to make? Was it a long time? Yes. And how far does it roll? and axles make work easier, like pushing or pulling something. We thought it would be a good idea to add wheels to our lunch bin so it would be easier to move around. It is very heavy when it is filled with all our lunches. Now it is much easier to move to the gym and back to our living room.